he has brought us, he has kept us, and he just keeps on blessing us to be a blessing. And we just give him praise, glory, and honor. Our scripture this morning comes from the gospel according to John. The first chapter, beginning at the first verse. Reading from the King James translation, you will find these words. In the beginning was the Word, and the Word was with God, and the Word was God. The same was in the beginning with God. All things were made by Him, and without Him was not anything made that was made. In him was life, and the life was the light of men. And the light shineth in darkness, and the darkness comprehended it not. There was a man sent from God whose name was John. The same came for a witness to bear witness of the light that all men through him might believe. He was not that light, but he was sent to bear witness of that light. That was the true light, which lighteth every man that cometh into the world. He was in the world, and the world was made by him, and the world knew him not. He came unto his own, and his own received him not. But as many as received him, to them gave he power to become the sons of God, even to them that believe on his name, which were born not of blood, nor of the will of the flesh, nor of the will of man, but of God. And the word was made flesh and dwelt among us, and we beheld his glory, the glory as of the only begotten of the Father, full of grace and truth. I just read from the Gospel according to John, the first chapter, the first through the 14th verses, the word of God for the people of God, Blessed be the word of God. Let us go to the throne of grace. Amazing grace, how sweet the sound that saved a wretch like me. I once was lost, but now I'm found. I was blind, but now I see. Gracious and everlasting Father, we come this morning thanking you, Lord, that you have brought us safely thus far to see the last Sunday of the year 2020. Realizing, Lord, that through many dangers, toils, and snares, we've already come. But by your grace and your mercy, You've allowed us to come together one more time. You didn't have to do it, but you looked down in tender mercy and you gave us another opportunity. Oh, we praise your holy name. Now, Lord, as we come this morning, as we prepare to worship you in spirit and in truth, we first ask that you wash our hands, cleanse our hearts, forgive us our sins, for they are many. Allow us into your presence that we may behold your glory. Allow us to come this, Lord, this morning, Lord, as we worship you in spirit and in truth, lifting up those who need a divine touch right now, those who are sick who stand in need of healing, those who are bereaved who need comfort, those who are uncertain about the future, not realizing whether they're going to have income or something to eat, but Lord, we are trusting that you are Jehovah Jireh. 
that you are the God who will provide for himself. And in doing so, you provide for your people. You are magnificent, Lord, and we love you. We thank you, Father. Now we ask that you move among us, wherever we are, collectively, individually, but touch us right now, Lord Jesus. Remind us that you are still sovereign. Remind us that no matter what we're going through right now, that you will bring us through on the other side. Remind us that we are loved with an everlasting love. And underneath are the everlasting arms. Have your way, Lord. Bless the man of God who will break the bread of life, use him to your glory. And through it all, we will give you all the praise. Lord, hear our prayer. Hear our supplication. We ask it all in Jesus' name. Amen. Yeah, I love to pray. Yeah, I love to pray. Yeah, I love to pray. 
Amen. Amen. We, we thank you, Brother Preston. I love to praise his name, for he is worthy to be praised. We just have a couple of quick announcements. Uh, we will be having our virtual watch night service. Uh, it has been uh, a great opportunity for us to fellowship together down through the years. And this year, though we will be doing it virtually, we will still be hosting our combined watch night service. Uh, it will be this coming Thursday, December 31st at 11 p.m. And it will be broadcast on Facebook Live, uh, also on the Emmanuel Missionary Baptist Church uh, webpage and other links uh, we will be sending out. Of course, those who have been logging in for our virtual broadcast, you will be able to uh, connect there as well. Um, so we ask that you remain prayerful. We will also uh, send out the link for those um, who are not members of Bethel who wish to contribute uh, to uh, the, the uh, defray the cost for the service. We will lift a virtual offering uh, via Givelify and uh, possibly a cash app. So all that information uh, will be uh, sent out. Uh, so please, sir, please, ma'am, let us be prayerful as we go into 2021. 2020 has been rough, and the prospects of this first quarter of 2021 aren't looking that great. But I am persuaded that God hears the prayers of his saints. Amen. And I believe that if we beseech the Lord and uh, repent, turn from our wicked ways, mm -hmm. and lift up his holy name, that God will hear our prayers, forgive our sins, and heal our land. So please, sir, please, ma'am, let us remain prayerful. Let us pray for this great nation. Let us pray for the state of Alabama and all of our states. Let us pray for our elected officials. I'm, I'm praying that they get a revelation and realize that they have a charge to keep and a God to glorify. I'm praying for those who are going through, those who are dealing with the uncertainty of, of tomorrow. Just remember that weeping may endure for the night, but joy comes in the morning. I'm praying for those who have recently been bereaved. We have a lot of bereaved members who are struggling, but I'm here to tell you that earth has no sorrow that heaven cannot heal. Amen. So please, sir, please, ma'am, let us uh, lift each other up in prayer. Let's pick up the phone and call somebody. If it's no more than just a few minutes to say, I'm thinking about you, I'm praying for you, just wanted to hear your voice. Because one thing we have discovered, something that we have forgotten in the midst of this pandemic, we are social beings and we need to connect with people. Yes. We need to connect one another. We need to hear somebody else's voice. We, we need to hear somebody say, how you doing? thinking about you. Yeah. So please, sir, please, ma'am, let us do that. Now, I'm not asking that you make a resolution. I'm just asking that you just do it. Just reach out and touch somebody. We ask a special prayer for Sister Linda Marsha. Uh, she had called me yesterday and uh, she had a, a great grandson uh, that was rushed to the hospital that in turn went on to be with the Lord. Let us keep her lifted up in our prayers. Uh, let us keep uh, Sister Mary Davis's family lifted up as she had a, a niece uh, that uh, met her demise in an auto accident this past week. Uh, let us remember those that we've recently funeralized. So often after we leave the cemetery, we figure everything is over. But for many folks, that's just the beginning of the journey. So let us pray that God will deliver them and bring them through. Again, let's just call them and remind them that we're thinking about them. 
Not only them, but those on the sick list, those who are going through, those who are struggling, those that need a divine touch. Because we know that God is able and that he will do just what he said that he would do. Uh, we don't have uh, many announcements today. Uh, this morning, I am pleased uh, to announce that uh, Reverend Joseph King will be uh, bringing the message today. And we thank God for him. We thank God for his faithfulness. We thank God for his support down through the years. We also thank God that uh, his stepson, uh, the son of Sister Carrie King, uh, our church clerk, was involved in a really, really terrible automobile accident in which his ankle was broken. Uh, his truck overturned and he was in the truck all night long. But praise be to God, God kept him dispatched the angels to, to keep him here. And they were able to get him out, take him to the hospital. He had surgery, but he is now home convalescing. And we just give God praise because it could have been the other way. But God looked down in tender mercy. And uh, we just thank God for all that he has done. We'll now have another selection from our Minister of Music, Brother Preston Frazier, and we thank you, Brother Frazier, and we ask that you keep him and Sister Frazier lifted up in our prayers. You know, so often people see us ministering, you know, realize that we going through too. But uh, let's keep him and his family lifted up in our prayers. Brother Preston. Amen. I'm going to ask my male course to come on up here. Amen. God. 
just for a little while this morning, we're going to talk about the light is here. Coming from John 1, when John said, yeah. the true light. But yeah. before then, I'm going to let y'all know. Lord, I know you've been so good. Bum, bum, bum. Lord, I know you've been so good. Oh, you watched over me. Sometimes you, you don't have money to pay your bills. And you, you, you get discouraged and you get worried sometimes because sickness hits your body sometimes. But I, I come by to tell you the light to see it. Yeah. As I look down through history and it was 450 some years that God was not speaking to a prophet. All right. uh, he had the false prophet, but God was not speaking to a prophet. And then when we open up in Matthew, it talks about the birth of Jesus the Christ. It talks about uh, the it talks about the Roman king Caesar had levied a tax yeah. that the whole world should be taxed. And this tax took place when Serenium was governor of Syria. Right. There was a record of what was going on. Then it, I went to Luke, and I, I find that the angel, the, my Bible said the angel. All right. But watch this now, brother. Really. It, got, it got deep on me, Sister John. But do you know the angel is Jesus? All right, all right. What you say? The angel of the Lord. The angel said an angel. He didn't say Gabriel. He said the. The. Angel of the Lord. Amen. You, you, when you saw the angel, it should have made you think. Is that all right? all right? Can't you see the shepherd was biding in the field, watching over that flock by night? Mm. And suddenly, an angel, the angel, told him about Jesus. And he said, you go unto the city and you will find a babe lying in a manger wrapped in swaddling clothes. Now, remember, look at swaddling clothes. What is swaddling clothes? 
that was stripped a cloth. That baby was wrapped like a mummy. He said, for this cause, what cause? I came into the world to die to bring me in back to my father. For this cause, I came into the world. I'm talking about the light of the world. And you know, sometimes things get seen gleaming. Sometimes you can't find your way because we lose focus on the light. Long as you can see the light, Yes. You know everything all right. Amen. Amen. When things happen in the doctors and you can't see, you get what? Amen. But I come by to tell you that the light is here. Amen. The Bible said he is the light of the world. Yeah. Yeah. Is that all right? all right? I was reading a hymn the other day said, God sent his son and they called him Jesus. Yeah. Yeah. He came to love, heal, and forgive. You know, he died to buy my partner. And I am the grave is there to prove my Savior lived. I come by to tell you, Jesus is the light of the world. Yes, right. I'm not talking about no Christmas light. I'm not talking about no reflector light or no LED. I need the light could light my soul. All right. I need a light real well. When I'm down and I don't feel good. Yes. I got a light to pick me up when I'm down. All right. And when the mind is confused, I got a light to twist my mind. Yes. I need a light yes. sometime just to regulate my mind. All right. I need a light to watch over me all night long through danger in unseen danger. Yes. And I'm so glad one day I met a man by the name of Jesus. I met him on my way to hell. Yeah. He picked me up yeah. and he turned me around. And ever since that day, I've been down some time. I've been criticized, I've been hocked aside, I've been talked about, and I've been called everything but a child of God. One thing I tell you, Bethel, I, I know Jesus. I, I never know nothing else, but I know Jesus uh, woke me up this morning, started me on another day journey. Ain't God all right? Uh, the Bible said he died uh, until the sun went down. Uh, he died, uh, the wind stopped blowing. Uh, he died. Uh, Said, uh, he died. The birds stop singing. Uh, he died. I heard somebody say, uh, This gotta be God. Uh, this must be the Son of God. Uh, they took him down uh, and they put him in Joel Newton. Uh, and all night uh, stay down there. Uh, they tell me uh, that spirit died. Uh, that Jesus uh, came back to the Father, went down uh, and preached the revival in hell. Uh, he tell me he preached out uh, in early uh, that third morning. I uh, got up uh, to the road at the ground, uh, declared um, all power in heaven and earth uh, was in his hand. Uh, and God, all right, uh, I got joy. I got joy that you can't take out because I got the light, the light of Jesus that will guide me when I'm going wrong. Ain't God alright? I'm so glad I met the light of the world. Ain't God alright? I got a light when I do wrong. I got a light uh, to make you love my enemies. I, I got a light uh, and God alright. Uh, I tell you, uh, I met this man uh, by the name of Jesus. Uh, he took my feet out uh, the mire clay uh, in the place that uh, on a solid rock to tell uh, and God alright. Uh, I'm so glad. Uh, Jesus, uh, and uh, 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 don't make it next year. Uh, I 
thank God for this year. God, all right. I thank you for my land. Last evening, I watched over me all night long. I could have been dead, sleeping in my grave. But the light of the world shine on me. And God, all right. I heard somebody say that. Shine on me. I need Jesus to shine on me. And God, all right, God, if I never see you again, I want you to know why. You need to know the man Jesus that died for you. And God, all right, came down through 42 generations. And God, all right, stopped the little town. Shining that the doctors could comprehend your night. You say, I don't care what's going on in the world. As long as you got focus on that light, the crew light, that light of every man, every man that comes into the world, that is Jesus the Christ. And when you got him in your life, sometimes it makes you cry when nobody bothers you. Sometimes it makes you walk the floor. When nothing is wrong, sometimes he deals with your conscience. He speaks with you. He talks with you. He guides you. You need that light. And I'm so glad I found the true light. I don't care about COVID. I got a light that shines over COVID. I don't care about the finance, economic, social. I got a the light that shines on all over this. My light gets us under control. If I make it or not, I thank him for this day. Yeah. If I never see you again, I see you this day. Yeah. I'm able to talk and walk. Somebody going home was here last week, last night, just a few minutes ago. But you and I are still here. Because the light is still shining. And I'm so glad when Reverend, I heard Reverend read that scripture. And the word came to me. Jesus is the crew light. You see, every now and then you need somebody to encourage you and put you up. Because to show your light, we have to show kindness. We were talking about John the Baptist. And when you read that part, what Jesus said, he he put the ax to the root of the tree. Yeah. Uh, many, of you, many of us didn't understand that. He means that you were the example that man was to follow, but you failed. So I'm going to cut you down. I'm going to put you in the fire and burn you up. I'm going to send my son. And he's going to be the example that your man had to live for me. May God bless you. And may God keep you. <laughs>
darkness. We need light. We're in a peculiar season. And you know, the sad part about wandering around in the darkness that you end up making a bad situation worse. If you ever got up in the middle of the night and didn't turn the light on, and you stumble into something or stub your toe, and it seemed like it hurt even worse. But if you just turn on the light, and you see where you're going. Just, just keep on with that, brother. My brothers and sisters, as we are on the precipice of a new year, let us remember that Jesus is the light of the world. That the word became flesh and dwelled among us. We beheld his glory and his light is in the world right now. Yes, I, I, I believe in science, but I also believe that it's God who revealed the knowledge to the scientists. I know the doctors practice medicine, but God sends the healing. And it's up to us to walk in the light of the knowledge of knowing that God will take care of his children. Let us have a word of prayer. Let us go to the throne of grace. Father, we just thank you. Thank you for the word. Thank you for bringing us. And then, Lord, as we look to the future, not knowing what the future holds, but Father, we're thankful that we know who holds the future. And we're putting our trust and our faith in you. Realizing, Lord, that you brought us too far to leave us. That you didn't bring us out here in the middle of the lake to leave us. That with you all things are possible. And that we will trust, lean, and depend on you. Thank you, Lord, for stepping up in our storms and saying, peace, be still. The storm didn't stop, but it's that the boat was protected. Thank you for protecting our boats, Lord. Thank you for protecting us in the middle of a bleak situation. Thank you for reminding us that you promised never to leave us or forsake us. Thank you, Lord, for Reverend King. Thank you for using him this morning to remind us of the light. And where there's light, there's hope. And where there's hope, there's deliverance. Oh, we give you glory and honor. Now, Lord, be with us. Lead us and guide us as we continue through this day. We ask it all in Jesus' name. Amen. You don't know, she was there. You don't know when and you don't know where. You don't know what the Lord told me. You don't know what the Lord told me.
and sisters, we will now call uh, Reverend Joseph King for, for final remarks and benediction. Well, I thought we, we thank Reverend Jones because he didn't have to allow me to preach. We thank you for accepting me. And we pray that God will keep all of this year. Father God, we pray this morning that each one that is upon the son of my voice, Lord, just strengthen them and give them hope, Lord, and protect them up under your covering. In the mighty name of Jesus, in the whole mother to say amen. Amen. Let, Let the church stand. Let the church say amen. God has spoken. Let the church say amen. Church, say amen. Let the church say amen. God has spoken. Let the church say amen. God bless you. God keep you is our prayer.